started with your January reading. Let's see what's going on as we're ending a lot of retrogrades. We're still in the end of the Mercury retrograde right now when I'm re filming this, but Mars is also completed. So your energy is coming back because as Mars goes direct, you're going to start to feel that energy come back in, perhaps even feeling a little extra spicy and extra fired up, if you know what I'm saying. So again, having fun and bringing that hot energy right from the start, but just make sure your temper's in check and make sure you're doing the things you need. All right, let's see. Romance Angels, what are the messages for Aries that they need at the beginning of the year? We got some heart to heart conversations and we also have let go of control issues Aries you don't know anything about that do you <laughs> also so it says honestly discuss your feelings with each other I feel like there is passion there is desire and there's a lot of attraction here too but you also want to make sure it's mutual and you also may be maybe a little fast paced, maybe someone needs a little more space to let this happen or not everyone is as ready. And maybe you're the one who's learning to open your heart, uh, letting go of control issues. Again, allow the situation to unfold naturally in a way like go with the flow, have fun, um, enjoy each other, express, learn how to express yourself here is coming through as well. And let's see what the, this is my journey into love. Let's see what the messages are. We've got two already. The other side and light up my life okay so I feel like in a way too it's like you're starting to see the other side of love I feel like this fence is sort of like the barricade that you've kind of put around yourself right you've kind of gone into this little hiding almost in this wilderness what it feels like and it's like the sun is coming because light up the life is like all of a sudden the dark days are over if you've been doom and gloom after something really difficult or a really hard period in your life right now I feel like you're starting to get to that line right like you're able to climb over this and uh, this obstacle is now on the other side of of what it is that you've survived here so letting go of control issues is also kind of like you can't force it it's going to happen when it's going to happen so whether this is this person's wall and i feel like because this fence is kind of like bent like you've already been on this other side i feel like there is so much that is happening right now you're welcome Peyton there's so much that's happening right now that has really helped you sort of like this person lets their walls down but then they're back up they like let you in but then they don't like so there's sort of like this it's not a game but it's also like let go of control issues because you see that soft side but then they're still scared so there's a lot of fear and I feel like even though they've boarded up some parts of themselves for whatever reason right we all have some of this um, but this is also saying like you've still brought light to this or you're still feeling this beautiful energy from each other, which is amazing. So let's see too. I feel like also because I saw the religious factors that perhaps there are differences, but we have the two of cups at the bottom just starting on that energy is awesome. Let's see what is coming towards you. Did I... Did I not tell you there was some spicy hot energy? So a lot of wands, a lot of communication, a lot of action, a lot of satisfaction, but also moving into this new direction. Now for some of you, this action can lead to pregnancy. So if that's not what you're wanting, again, this is a very fertile energy. So if that's what you're looking for, great. If not, then again, like I said, you can't force it to if some of you are wanting a new opportunity, a new job. Um, again, we have just this honestness where I feel like some of you may be wanting a serious commitment where your person is still a little immature in the sense that it's a it's premature in the sense like right we're talking about something new it might be too soon it might be too early to start talking more commitment or more serious investments in each other whether it is like you know, you're maybe wanting to start living together and this person's not ready for that. You may be wanting something more stable and direct that's leading to a road together here, okay? So earth energy, fire energy, um, could be yours, could be dealing with someone. You may also meet this person through work or this person, star card, okay. Healing, could be dealing with an Aquarius. I feel like you're also healing your mind here. Um, 
This will help with the overthinking. This will help with the clarity. World card, so at the bottom, huge completions, huge new cycles of transitions and transformations. With the Sadar card here as well too, I feel like there is something that has really excited you to take you to a new level. This passion or this desire, whatever this is, if this is just something that's igniting your interest into creating something committed or offering this serious union, right? Like this is the happy golden path, right? Right? like it's leading to that future together and you've been waiting for this and you've been wanting for this and it's kind of like is this with you or not now this person could be younger or this can also just symbolize that this is a fresh connection and something you've been wishing for i feel like even this excitement okay the passion the desire is very like it's very youthful it's almost like it makes you feel young again it makes you feel like a teenager again there's this element but it can also be that your person has children so children could be a factor in healing this or healing within your own family because even here she's holding a child so perhaps that could be part of what you're worried about because you are stepping into this new direction and you're letting go of control issues like especially if there's fears of parenting someone else's children and what that entails so again a lot of conversations is what I'm feeling because I have fears here anxiety stress sleepless nights gaining a lot of wisdom so that's why I'm saying don't overthink this this isn't the past person don't necessarily assume things because you're maybe trying to force an outcome and by planning things that don't work out you think it's not working but it's just not going the way you want it to because it's a heart-to-heart -heart conversation that expresses what we're both wanting right so when that happens then you're gonna have a chance to balance things out now you could be having multiple offers maybe there's more than one person and that's why maybe you have to let someone down softly maybe there's someone more serious for you or maybe someone is slightly controlling in the dynamic so you want to make sure that that's being rectified but you do have this infinity symbol and these boats are always talking about opportunities taking you into new directions and I think at the same time maybe you've been juggling so many things and it's like just because you can doesn't mean someone else can not everyone's a able to do the exact same things but it's important for you right now to really weigh this okay maybe it's your job and if you stay at that job then you can't live with this person maybe it's moving to this other place and maybe that's leading to a different job as well because you have the ace of wands so this is really telling me that there's this like we had all those wands with the eight of wands that we saw earlier so there's definitely travel there's definitely opportunity could be relocation as well but that is that big wand energy so there's a lot of fire here aries i'm not surprised i feel like you just literally feel like all of a sudden you got this boost of adrenaline and you're like 10 years younger is just that energetic just spike is what's coming through for me so you are really really getting to this place where yes the passion is there the attraction is there but then you have these two beautiful aces where now you're both going to see how you can make it fit how you can make it work and this new light energy is helping you heal this because the star card is also about alignment um your seven chakras the seven stars the star of sirius could be significant for you too but there's just so much emotional healing and clearing that this is is bringing and it's also because you are coming from a very vulnerable loving heart place now I want to give you a message of love just to see what other clarifier we can get here before we do an Archangel Michael card thank you guys make sure you're following subscribe and don't forget to check out all of the resources and again only message me on my website and beware of scammers and people pretending to be me and other favorite tarot readers you have so again it's saying go slow and we have obsession so this is sort of where like there's sort of like this restriction because i feel like maybe someone is coming on too strong and that's part of the controlling because it's like i want you i need you like that obsessive energy right so someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts which is why i feel like you're having a really hard time letting go a really hard time just not thinking about it or not um over analyzing like you're over analyzing you're overthinking and that's just from a virgo a really bad idea and then we have go slow so take time to get to know each other and that's